what is up you guys it's your boy b scott back with another video on another adventure um helping my homegirl ashley um she wanted me to be here while she sells her um um she sells her refrigerator i guess somebody bought it off of facebook marketplace or something like that so i'm down here in a like i believe we're in a downtown area i believe but yeah tomorrow man actually tomorrow i got my first uh person coming to see my upstairs unit um it's gonna be pretty crazy because what, what? why did it do that hold on one second guys let me hit her up real fast and let me get in the door and i'll hit you right i'll, I'll be right back <laughs> yeah so like i was saying guys um she got a nice little apartment complex. This like it's crazy because this thing is open. Y'all see that up there? That's, that's just outside, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, anywho, guys, um, tomorrow I got my first uh, potential renter coming by um, with their renter. I mean, their realtor. So, um, hey, we getting it popping. We getting to the bag. <laughs> Oh man, I feel so good, but it feels unreal too. Like I just can't, I just keep on thinking like, man, all the years I've been trying to move to different states, um, states that I like, like I remember I was doing photography, I wanted to move to New York really bad. Um, I really like Texas. I like the, I like the um, size of the, of the lots you get out there. Um, but yeah, this is just the first stop, man. I mean, like I said, I really love the East Coast. So Baltimore was a great place to get into for a lower price point, um, just the East Coast in general, because I'm looking, looking in PA as well, like I said, but yeah, tomorrow, uh -huh. don't do that. Why is shit shaking like that? Oh, I think she up one more. Hold on, I don't want to just knock out the wrong door. I think she's on the top level. Let's go to the top level real fast. Yeah, I think, but yeah, so, um, other than that right now, um, like I said, my next thing is working on getting a, uh, getting another car or getting a car out here. Cause then I still gotta get a car back in LA too. So it's just like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but also working on boosting up my, my streams of income too. So like right now I got the property, out, I got a few properties out back in LA. Um, got this one out here going, but um, like all of my e, my e products, um, my digital real estate stuff, like my ebook, my e-course that, you know, basically, or it's a beginner's guide to um, the short term and midterm rental. Uh, start boosting that stuff up more um but also too i want to stretch myself i don't want to hello right hey. <laughs> yeah what's going on guys oh my god <laughs> oh, so, so y'all her spot y'all she everybody be camera shot oh they put a door right here for your laundry oh snap. hold on guys let me show y'all the downstairs so you know what I'm saying this is open. This is this is open. So when it rains, it rains. That's why it's all dirty right there. But yeah, this is my homegirl Ash. <laughs> Ash, don't hide. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> don't lie. Okay, thank you. Yo, so take like um do like a crib like no not not a crib but um no not a crib but the um what's the uh, HGTV shows? You know how they be like love it or list it? Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on. Oh my God. Let's start from the beginning. So you got to walk in. Oh. What? Then I'm just going. Loud, hey, it don't it don't matter. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you don't gotta physically walk in. You just like close the door. Like, oh hey, I want to See, you got a corporate. I mean, a, a commercial voice. <laughs> Here's the laundry room. Um, still has like building material in there, but full size washer and dryer. Let me go ahead and turn the light on for you. I mean, when they said force, they really did squeeze that in there. Uh -huh. Damn, I thought there's a pipe over here. If y'all can see, I thought it wasn't gonna fit in the pan for the um, hot water heater. I definitely didn't think that was gonna fit, but that's real. <laughs> so, 
So, and so um, let's come to the kitchen. And this is like the biggest transformation. This right here right. is completely closed off. It was just like one narrow, dark walkway. And so hold on, one second. It up. Hold on, hold on. One bad camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. But so, yeah, like I said, if this was closed off mm -hmm. and like dark cabinets, dark floors, and so I completely opened it up and put everything right in here. Um, new countertops, floating shelves, um, just for some added storage mm -hmm. because it's a small space. Um, upper cabinets here and the pantry back here, but just everything was the fridge was up here at first, but I moved right. everything in the back again to keep it open. Um, Slow yeah. down. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Hold <laughs> on, where'd you, where you get your cabinets from? Um, these, these are nice. came from Lowe's. Is it Lowe's? Yes. Nice. This is Lowe's, and then these were custom made. Um, what, your countertops? The countertops oh, okay. and the shelving was custom. You should yeah. go with the butcher block next time. Yeah. Real cheap. Yeah, yeah. For rentals. Next rental. That's yeah, amazing. definitely next one. You know, you and just, just this start is what sold me. If you were here during the day, you probably see the skyline for the city. Oh, you can. Um, yeah, because you are. This building is kind of high. Yeah. Let's see if we can see it outside, yo. Damn, these blinds is long. Uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we got too much. Room. There it is, a little bit. Oh, I turn it right off behind me. Probably hook up. Yeah, that definitely definitely has a nice or, or has a nice. Um, view out there, so I see why. So, move it in here. This is just a little closet. We got the thermostat. This is the bathroom. Um, all I did here was just change out the light fixture and. The I'm also having to deal with the two bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put them in yet. So. Oh, I thought the contractor done like the damn no. dude. When they don't do something, they really don't do stuff. They just be like, why'd you leave that? Just so. But basically everything nice here was, was nice. Yeah, it was, it was, I didn't really have to do much, but just change everything from the old traditional building grade silver to just black, make it a little more. Oh, so the floor is down too? The floors are already here. They just need a little sprucing up. Oh, clean. you came up like in a 7-Up. Yeah. Dang. And then you come in here. Um, yeah, so it shouldn't have ever took no three months for this then. <laughs> if it that's If that's happen. literally the only thing that they did a demo was the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's just hey, some slight electrical work. Um, Got the nice um, ceiling fan with like yeah, really nice controllers. Yep, like this is on seventy three, so because with the with the high ceilings, you just want to make it as airy as possible, especially since there's no right. balcony. Um, well, but I mean, yeah, the closet did not have a light, so like I said, electrical work. Yeah, added that light that out to put in. Um, that light is bright. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's the same lights that are in the hallway. It's a, a small LED. Oh, it's a, I just bought this one for my unit, actually, for the um for the kitchen. I bought the bigger the bigger one. So yeah, new floors, um, new like uh, what's it, luxury vinyl flooring. Yeah, so it's like it's very adorable. Just need to uh, do some deep cleaning real quick and then have a furniture in here. Well, your your uh, your realtor, your, that floor makes that bathroom look really nice. Thank you. Thank you. And black is so like dope. I mean, even though you show dirt a lot, but still, right. it's really classy, like vibe. But yeah, no, this is her part. This is her um, condo. I'm gonna say apartment. I'm so used to saying apartment, but nah, this, is, this is really nice, man. It came out good. Thank I mean, you. now now look at it, like all the stuff that you went through. It's like ah, it's finally done. Finally over. That's yeah. how I always feel. So like when like when you're going through like the BS with a contractor, if you know, when you happen to come across a contractor that push you through stuff like that, it's like, when you finally get to the end, you be like, oh my gosh, it was like, it low key feels like being in a school when you have like finals or something like that, and you got a crunch and a cram, and right. you know, the, the teacher's giving you, that's how it feels, but it's like, it's a lot worse because you're giving a lot, well, even depending on what kind of school you're in, you're giving money up, but mm -hmm. with this, you're giving a lot of money up, you know, to somebody that's like deliberately just doing like BS, but, Holding my uh, income in their hands pretty much. Right. <laughs> Which is scandalous. Yeah. But anywho, guys, uh, I'm going to catch you guys in a sec. I'm going to have to sit here and wait for the person to come get the refrigerator. Oh, yeah. And if anybody needs a washer and dryer, I'm selling literally a washer and dryer that both work for $200. There's a blowout sale. You ain't never seen that happen. But, um, yeah. Anywho, guys, like I said, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to sit here and uh, chat with uh, Ash for a sec. And then we're going to wait for this person. And then I'll catch you guys in a second. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 
Hopefully everybody's having an awesome day. Uh, I guess the beginning to your day. People back on the West Coast, um, still in morning, early, early morning time for you guys. But uh, yeah, anywho, last night was pretty cool. Um, got to see somebody else, you know, getting some getting some things done in their life. My homegirl Ash, um, with her uh, studio apartment, or condo, uh, it, it, yeah, her property. <laughs> so uh, actually today, like I said, hopefully um, everything goes all right with the showing um, for my unit. Um, I don't know exactly when they're coming, but as always, I make sure most of my business is as, as automated as possible. Um, automation, I definitely wasn't a person in the beginning, like when I first started doing this, to uh, like really like uh, benefit from technology when it comes to certain things like uh, automated doors, being able to control things from your phone. At first I had the mindset like, oh no, I don't wanna do that, you know? That's a, uh, I don't know, not, not like dangerous or anything, but it's like at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta finally just give up and trust, you know, that whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're doing is gonna pretty much work out um, and you're not gonna have any issues. And I mean, if you do, you have all of your stuff in, in row. Like, again, you know, I got cameras, security cameras, so any incidences or accidents that ever happen, um, at least it's recorded, you know, to a certain extent. Um, all the door, all the doors, um, all of the keypads that I purchased, you can put up to like 200 different codes on them. So, I mean, I don't know who would ever have that many people coming to a property, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> it gives you a log pretty much and shows you um, what who came in the door, who used what code. So, I mean, automation is like all of my business, really. Um, it really helps out, especially being or expanding to multiple cities and multiple coasts. It's like, there's no other way you really can do it without paying a bunch of other people. Like, so essentially right now, I believe I'll start looking for like an assistant um, just to be able to, even with where I'm at right now, be able to expand faster and a lot more efficiently than me trying to do everything um, by myself. So that's what I feel like uh, the automation of some of these uh, different um, apps and tech tech uh, does for me and does for anybody's business honestly i know there's always a lot of people trying to show other people how to do you know automation when it comes to um just like online stuff like there's always a lot of people selling um what is that the uh the the, the drop shipping not drop shipping but uh shopify and they show you how to do the automated version of that so you're not even really talking to people like everything that they ask or questions is already being automated. I mean, uh, there's a message that already gets sent to them as soon as they sign in. Um, another dope thing, and I'm still trying to figure that out, too, is uh, so, you know, like when you go into somebody's uh, um, uh, website, like even like like they say if you go shopping or something like that and you don't get what's in your cart and you know how they send you that message saying, hey, you left this in your cart. Did you uh, did you still want to check out like all that automation? So. You know they're not sending that they actually have a program connected to their website and to the baskets and all that stuff the, the carts so but yeah that's where we at right now man um and like i said also this is why i said i'm look, definitely looking for an assistant right now too though is because like literally right now i'm working on like five different things but i want to i want to like conduce that or condense that to me working on two things um and then like i said having somebody else work on three other things that are smaller than and, and really getting those smaller things really going and rolling that way they get a little bit more attention <sighs> damn i feel like i haven't been on a walk in a while it's only been like two days three days but change the subject i love this neighborhood man like how quiet it is how nice it is uh, one of my neighbors, <laughs> I was telling my homegrass slash like, uh, one of my neighbors has one of those um, uh, community bookshelves like in front of their yard. And I was gonna, put, I'm gonna put one of those in front of mine. I really like those things. And uh, I mean, honestly, it just makes it feel like more of a neighborhood. You know, once you start getting to a certain point in your life and you like, you really like, like having things, you like having a certain type of like uh, standard of lifestyle, it's like, those little things to me, like they're really cool. 
And for me, it also lets me know where I'm at as far as like where I've invested in too. Um, I, take in the, I take into account a lot of little things. I mean, besides like, just like the big factors, like where, um, where you are as far as like companies, hospitals and all the other stuff. But little things like that even let you know, like, okay, well, you know, this might be a great neighborhood because people have this type of interest, you know, and alongside of other things, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna build one of those. It's pretty easy too. It's like basically just building a birdhouse, but a birdhouse that has books in it. Oh man. So right now I'm on my way to uh, go grab me some coffee. I don't think I'll eat anything. I just have some salmon and um, like basically like a salmon salad. But I like to get out of the house sometimes and then in the morning time and not just be like feeling like I'm in the house just working, working, working. I can start to feel like a uh, like an office, which is what I've never been about. I always wanted to work and be free and, you know, do my things anywhere and everywhere. So it's like, it's a nice little area called the, um, called the Boulevard. And they have multiple shops in there. I mean, I showed it already when I went to go eat some Thai food, which that's one thing out here that definitely is not a comparison to LA is the Thai food. Well, at least so far, I'm not gonna say not all the places, but the place in there is not kind of just like a basic, for lack of better words. But I want to show you guys also this cool little park that you walk over the bridge. I feel like this is really cool when you come over here. Like you walk to this little part of the park and then you go over that bridge right there. But yeah, guys, man, I start to realize this, this too, my YouTube channel like low key becomes a form of, uh, I don't say therapy, but kind of like a journal, you know, allows me to get my thoughts out, allows me to uh, say things out loud so I get them out of my head and then they, they become reality as far as like keeping my positive mindset on what I'm doing and putting that positive energy out there because it's a lot of negative. We all know that, right? Like you can post something that's positive and you get like maybe 10 likes. You post something that's negative, you know, that happens to somebody else, everybody's laughing at it or putting their opinions on it. And so it just gravitates that way. It is what it is, right? No, no reason to uh, really complain about it, but I do find that my YouTube channel has become that for me, like is like it, it, it centers me. It allows me to, you know, align myself and use all those nice little words. And I'm actually happy too, cause I'm, like I said, I found a yoga class and it's all black yoga class. Um, I think put on by, well, I don't know if he put it on, but maybe he did put it on. Um, the guy that owns a wine company that I met a few, uh, few days ago or like a week ago. Um, so that's really like got me excited because I haven't done a yoga class in like so long, honestly. And so to be able to do something like outside of LA too and get a different vibe, because I'm pretty sure every city has their vibe if I like around that type of uh, activity. So it's gonna be pretty dope to see what, what and how they do their yoga out here. Uh, but yeah, man, I just be, I'll be thinking about that. Like, this is like, going day to day, I really don't kick it with that, month, that many people. So this allows me to at least be able to get certain thoughts off that I, you know, be having. And again, not be in my head, cause I'm definitely, I used to be an overthinker, um, like hard. And you know, some certain habits don't ever leave you, but you learn how to, you learn how to get better at them. You know, if that's your, if that's your goal. Like I always wanted to be able to get out of my head and just say something, move on with it, and then keep on moving. I mean, uh, move on with life. Like, no need to like linger on something or like just hold on to it. And you know, I'm still working at it. So that's even in business. Like I think about certain things. I'm definitely a lot better with it in business though than I am with my personal. Because um, in business, I mean, learning from one of my homeboys. Like, even when I started my landscaping company that was a big part of it, like not taking things personal, learning how to deal with customers, you know, whether it be 
from the good to the bad, you know? But mostly learning how to deal with customers and learning how to like direct things. Where's the light at? Oh, it's red. Uh, learning how to direct things and learning how to, um, what do they call it? A conflict resolution. You know, even if it's like not even like, maybe it has to be like a big conflict, but something like a any type of grievance a client might have or think they want to have. I'm gonna go ahead and walk this red light real fast. You know, knowing how to be direct, knowing how to be straightforward, you know, come to them and let them know like, hey, let's deal with this. What is your issue? You know, how can we get to a better place? You know, how can we resolve it? All right, <laughs> feeling the H town in the morning. Um, and so I definitely pride myself on being better at that. How's it going? Being better at that now, um, especially as I expand, you know, again, no matter what market I go into, I definitely know how to, like even dealing with the contractors so far out here, you know, being very direct, very straightforward, um, letting them know like, it's cool if you if things don't work out between us, you know, like not everybody works well together. So it's not like anybody should have a personal, like emotion to it, you know, like especially in business, like you just, you know, say what you want. They say how they operate. Cool. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At least you don't waste any time or go into the situation and then have it uh, turn bad on you. So, but yeah, guys, anywho, I'm about to walk up in here. I know it's pretty probably loud in there. Um, supposed to be going downtown later on, but who knows? I might not do that. Because uh -oh. uh, the person I was supposed to be going with it, it is a. Uh, more than likely either sleep or got busy. So I'll catch you guys in a second. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody's having an awesome day so far. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, man, feeling good. I was a little tired, but now I'm not tired. You know, you wake up and then, oh, you know, sometimes you wake up like you feel tired, but as you start moving, you get a little bit more energy. So uh, right now I just, uh, came to pick up my Toro for the weekend. Um, I believe I got this car for like three three days or something like that. Um, still on the hunt for my own car right now, but more so it's like the financing. I, I'm very, very, very dead set on um, utilizing my business credit for this and I'm gonna achieve that goal. So, um, you know, and at the, at, the, at the worst, if I don't, like, yeah, I'll just buy, I'll just purchase it with my own personal credit and then put it in my business name, but I want to definitely do it under my business first, uh, or this time around. I'm trying to figure out how to turn the AC on or the heater on, I mean, it is cold as heck out here. Oh, that's just a duel. So yeah, um, the other day, like, cause yesterday I didn't film anything. Uh, I had a, had a like a nice little day, but I went on a jog, so. That was most of my, uh, or the biggest thing of the day. Then I went uh, out last night, um, had some dinner. It was pretty chill. Um, so today I, I'm going to buy a construction site. Um, I met another contractor. I had to cancel. So bad, bad thing happened yesterday, but it's not bad. It's just expected, you know, not saying that I'm like not optimistic when I meet contractors, but um, hired a contractor to put in my doors for me. I was like, I'm just trying to get my doors put in, Joe, so I can, so I can have my upstairs unit, you know, look complete and done. So I hired a contractor um, and it's always like a thing you have to think about or you always want to think about like if if you, if somebody, if you're calling somebody and then they text you back all the time, it's kind of like, that was like a warning sign, right? That was the first thing. Like the other week, there was like a few things when, when he was actually like sending over the um, estimate, I would call him. And then he would just text me back, hey, I'm with my family, or hey, I'm with another client, or hey, I'm doing this. And I was like, uh, all right, bro, you can just give me a 10, like a little 10 minute call back. Like that way we can like, you know, settle everything out. Um, but I was like, all right, let me, I just need these doors done. You know, and I had already been through like five different, five different um, contractors that came through or called, whatever, whatever. So um, yesterday his guys showed up and they didn't know the scope of work. And so I'm just like, now this is super unprofessional. There's no way I should have to tell the, the guys or the workers anything. Like they should come and know exactly what they need to do. And so when I called him, he tried to make it like I told him that I had lumber to reframe my doors for me. And I'm like, why would I tell you I had lumber? 
Like, or not even why, I didn't tell you I had lumber. I told you I had the doors and I had my locks. I have that already here on site for you ready to go. So, yeah, got my refund. I'm getting my refund from that person. And like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm actually about to go. And this this, this contractor I actually like just the, their, their first presentation of who they are because they actually invited me to a current project they're doing. When you get a contractor like that, nine times out of 10 or eight, ten out of, eight times out of 10, the numbers are the higher that the numbers are, are higher that they're actually doing good work because usually a person's not going to invite you to a, a, a work site you know if they're doing shisty stuff or you know if they um if they want to kind of like stay elusive so that they can like if, you're, if you have to look for them or anything like that you don't know anything about them um so yeah i'm literally like i said i'm over here um got my rental car just letting this thing warm up a little bit because it is what all of 36 degrees right now which after a while it doesn't get that it doesn't feel that crazy out here to me um besides my hands like yesterday when i went on a jog i was warm everywhere else except for my hands like the back of my hands started feeling like i couldn't feel them no more so i had to like jog to a store and go get uh some 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 mitts in the midst of my, my jog um but anywho guys um today will probably be the end of this uh vlog Cause I'm not gonna stretch it out too much more. Um, I've got a few more errands to run, but that's gonna be the one of the biggest things I do is uh, like around like 9:40. I'm gonna go check out that uh, that um, work site, and I'm gonna take you guys with me on that. Um, but right now, I'm about to go grab a little something to eat, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. You don't mind if I show the project to everybody in my YouTube land? <laughs> I know. Is I know. It live or no, 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 no. Okay. I noticed a lot of people don't uh don't like YouTube or like like or, or um, do content out here too much. Like I'm, I'm walking around, mm -hmm. people are like, looking at me like, "What the hell is he doing? He must be a cop or something." Like, nah. No, 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 that's all good. So I, I definitely would like to expose. I mean, give you exposure and like introduce you. Um, I met Nadine. Said it right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Met um uh, via it was Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So just looking at your picture and I, so these are the few things that I like to see when I, when I, um, or get introduced to a contractor or meet a contractor. One thing you said is the biggest thing you said is come by my project. That's huge for me because that, that lets me know that you're not trying to hide anything. And that's what, you know, I've been in this business for five years and you learn very fast oh, yeah. when people are trying to be elusive. It's like, Besides the business name or their name, you don't know anything about them. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So nope, I'm out there. That's a big thing. And then again, you started sending me your information. It was like all of it was like, boom, here you go. There's nothing to hide. And that's the biggest thing with, with people investing, especially, right. you know, dealing with contractors. It's like they want to be as elusive as possible. So um, I kind of like just want to get like a walkthrough of what the project is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So just to start it off, and please excuse oh, yeah. the plumbers are coming in. They have that's your tub. So they got the tub coming in right now. So the tub is going in the hallway bathroom and then they have the shower van, which is going in this bathroom right here on the main level. So you're converting, or basically you're keeping this as a single family though? Yes, okay. keeping it as a single family. Um, we're in the rough, eight, rough end stage now where we did framing, added HVAC. The yeah, HVAC is crazy. Um, added the HVAC, um, electrical, and all new plumbing rough end. All new plumbing, um, yeah. So the house was originally four bedrooms upstairs. One bathroom in the hallway here at the top of the stair, and then one bathroom here. Yeah. And then you have the room that's right here that could have been a dining room, um, or office, whatever. So what we're doing is, instead of having four bedrooms upstairs, we're changing it to three bedrooms upstairs, and we're converting one of the be um, bedrooms to a master suite. Nice. And so it gets a walk-in closet, and then it gets another bathroom. Make it it gets its own bathroom. What was the average size of those bedrooms upstairs? They're pretty small, huh? Approximately 11 by 13, 14. Oof, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> somebody, they're pretty much about the size of this. Okay, yeah. So For somebody this, my height, it's like, oh, it feels a little cramped. Yeah, so but this, one, this is a bedroom. So we're turning this into a bedroom so we could keep four. Um, four th for the four three or four yeah, two? Yeah, so it's turned into a four three. So instead of a four two, it's going to a four three. That's nice. And what we're doing is, and what I'm learning is, when I'm talking to clients, mm -hmm. um, people are getting old. And they don't want to walk up and down the stairs. Yeah. So what I did was I made the hallway bathroom a Jack and Jill. Nice. So now as you can see the framing. You, you got, got the, the pocket door. door here. Yeah. You have a stand-up shower, toilet, vanity. 
And that's the that's the that's the thing too right now is like a lot of people are wanting stand up showers now walk in showers like no more tubs. Right. Like you put a tub, you put one tub if you can in the house, yep. but everything else, it. give me a walk in. Yeah. Yep. You gotta have at least one tub to sell it. Correct. Just correct. For the kids. Yeah. Exactly. So we added the closet here, so they just okay, get a nice. little closet. Right. That's the, the other side. It's the laundry room. The washroom. Yeah. And then we created a pantry. So you have your Jack and Jill bathroom. That's one thing I love out here too, like pantries are. We're gonna do a galley kitchen, 13 foot wall. You that going, we get everything you going there. shelves up top too? No, we're gonna have floating up top. Okay. So refrigerator in the corner. Right there. All right. Um, dishwasher, sink, cabinet, stove, and a little like six inch or nine inch cabinet at the end. Right. And then this side is left open. They could put a table here if they want to. They could leave it open, do whatever. Right. Pantry door right here. Larger room here in the corner. So this house didn't have a washer dryer roughing, right. so we're adding it. A lot of people don't like going to the basement. I'm not a big fan a of basement. having it <laughs> off of the kitchen, but I think it's it's better to have it one level than having to go down two levels. No, definitely, definitely. Um, Can lights in the kitchen, recess lights here, and then have these small mini ones that kind yeah, of shine down for on the cabinet. And now that I'm actually looking at it, I may need to have them um, pull pulling them forward, more. pulling forward a little bit because they're gonna be right over your. Yeah, right over the cabinet. I'm gonna yeah. move those over, so it won't be enough a big deal. He has enough slack in it. Right. So lights right here. Like I said, wash and dry, stackable. Possibly put some shelving on the side here. Um, we're gonna have a rack right here so that way the mop room and everything could just hang right here. Um, patch that in as you see. That was an old in. school uh, heater. Um, no, we're doing a typical furnace. No, I'm saying that was, the, that was the old school one, the, the in floor, that, the hole right there. It wasn't that bad because it was originally a wall there and they added that back porch to the house. That wasn't originally part of the house. It would just be adding stuff. Right. So we added a coat closet so that way the space still um, I like more the fill. Because um, there's not a lot of closet space in there. And it house. allows you to put stuff away. So you yes. don't have stuff just hanging out. It's just exactly. like, nah, put it over there. It's, mm -hmm. you know. Throw everything over there. Oh, Living yeah. room area. So at least they have one solid wall. They can put the TV on this wall. And right. lay out the furniture, whichever way they want. Um, put a cute table there if they want to. What we're going to do here is we're going to cut this off. Mm -hmm. So that way it doesn't have that old feel to it. Give it more Make it more modern, feel. yeah. Cut that part off, and then Are you the plan is to stain, do some type of wood color. So basically, um, sand those down. Sand them down. I mean, you're not gonna find that. You can't find that wood no more, and I'm pretty sure that's original. So yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, yeah. And some of these older houses. I mean, same thing in LA. Like, same. So you find some of these houses where the wood is still good. I utilize it because yeah, exactly. if you try to buy it today, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three hundred dollars for one stair. Right. So go up the stairs. So I'll start on this side. Mm -hmm. One of the here. Oh, this, they feel a little bigger than what they sound like. Yeah. Closet, right. standard, nothing major, nothing exciting. Old school. Another bedroom here. Same deal. Closet on this side. Right, nice. Nothing exciting. Yard is huge. Oh, yeah, it's a definitely nice backyard. It's black for the most part too. Tub in the back. Um, toilet, vanity wrapper. So now, this is the master bedroom. So if you look at the ceiling, mm -hmm. it was super weird. They had it at a triangle okay, shape. Yes. So Yikes. with this making the, the bathroom here, I had to figure out what to do here. So although it's sort of awkward, you come up the stairs and there's like, bam, it's a door right here. It was the best solution because if not, if I was closing this in for the bathroom and then you have to leave the bedroom at an angle. So which way, which way is your door going to swing in? So now it swings like this. Okay. And then you just come in the bedroom like this. Ah, so you made the little pocket over here for the door. And it blows better. Right. And then the light switch is going to be on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes no, sense. That's just temp lighting right there. Okay. So that's not permanent. That's just for the guys to plug up their tools and stuff. Right. So now you have your bedroom. This leads to the, the attic. attic. Oh, man. And so so much HVAC lines running up there that we're not going to finish that space out. Yeah. So then come in. Door swings like this. Framing the hell out of it. Boom. Add some shelving. You still have a view. 
to the window outside. This is the duck line. Say, you saw downstairs. And these windows are big too. I yeah, like, so it's plenty of light on. I like them. And then you walk in this door. Shower. Double sink vanity. Toilet, aka water closet. Separate, yeah. I like that. I'm starting to see a lot more um, a lot, in a lot of states. They're starting people are, are developers are starting to do that where they put the toilet in its own room in the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see in a lot of houses like in PG County, Upper Marlboro, yeah, that nature, or that area, they have a lot of the, um, like Upper Marlboro, Bowie. It's everywhere. Even when you go to Texas, you see all the new builds. Any, mm -hmm. any those, like, but even though even though those are like track homes, they're just like cookie cutter in them. Right. But still, it's like that's a thing that people like now that somebody can be in the bathroom but not be in the bathroom. Exactly, exactly. So this is uh pretty much it. Um, so how the long? Home is, is called for nineteen forty four square feet. Yeah. So not including the attic in the basement. Nice. So. The basement is going to be unfinished because the ceiling height is like six feet. Yeah, it's not, it's not that yeah, tall. So, mm -mm. so, but the basement is clean though. Nice. So, it's no trash to move the walls. Got to check it out. Yeah. But, Let's buy, my place right now is the same thing. It's like the ceilings are like six, five, maybe. Maybe Yeah, maybe. I'm, yeah, I'm six one. Clear, but, um, and so I'm a, for me, what I'm gonna do with that spot is keep it, keep it laundry room on the side. Uh, put a pony wall around the, um, around the, uh, the was it the radiator? Um, okay. Uh, and the and the water heater so that you don't see that, and then make it like a small little. Just like workout space. Right, right. Cause I do that right now. I work out in the, in the basement myself. So it's like, I'll do that for my tenants where it's like, cause I like adding value. You know what right, I mean? Coming from, coming from the market I come from, you add value because at the end of the day, it then it validates why you're charging what you're charging. Exactly. You know, if you go basic like everybody else, then it's like, eh. But, right, I can get this anywhere. <laughs> right, but all my properties I have, I have, I use as much automation as I can. So like my doors, I have codes on them. Right. Um, you know, I have all my tenants know. Trying to get everything yeah. sufficient. We got, so yeah, so I try to, um, my biggest thing is doing house on a techie level. Yeah. So Bluetooth. Um, you got speakers for the? Yeah, so Bluetooth. Uh, Exhaust fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always put Bluetooth exhaust fans in my um, homes. These are gonna have Bluetooth ceiling fans right. in the bedrooms. So you can control it from your, you don't, get it, you don't gotta get out of the bed to hit the controller even. Right, yep, all the ceiling fans come with remotes. So the bedrooms get, the bedrooms are going to get ceiling fans, typical surface mounted in the hallway. Right. Um, modern style light fixtures in the bathroom. You wanna put two recess lights here, and then get a recess light over the shower. Um, this is right over the tub. It was supposed to be a recess right on the shower downstairs when my HVAC guy um, got super excited and ran the duck <laughs> <So, laughs> where, where the recess light Slow down a little bit, buddy. Slow right? down. And so it was like, do I make him move it? And then I'm going to catch the outside and everything else. I was like, we'll get it be all right. They got right. enough light in there. Right, exactly. And that's exactly what happened. So this, um, this is pretty much it. This is the project. How long have you been in construction? Uh, since 2005. Since I graduated college. Damn, that's so, dope. So I um I worked for three different companies for 10 years. And then when I got fired from my last one, yeah. I started, I had a cleaning company part-time at the time. So I just went full blown with that. Yeah. And then around 2018, I was like, okay, I missed construction. I don't want to lose my touch. And so- And you were hands on. Yeah. And so that's when I started NTS Consulting. And what I started it as just, my goal was just to be a project manager for different companies because I was like, it's no different than having a nine to five and I'm managing 15 projects for one person. Right, 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 right. And then once I, I met this girl in a networking group that we went in together and she was a real estate agent and she had all these clients that had money, yeah. but they didn't know nothing about construction. So it was, like a, it was like a win for all three parties. Yeah. So she's the realtor, she buying a home for them, they buy them, I manage them, everybody gets paid. Right. And they was doing primarily buying holds. So I was like, I want instead of just getting paid a management fee, I wonder what would it take to get my contractor's license. Yo, it is cold, cold, cold. But I love it a little bit. Oh shit! So yeah, just uh, got done um, talking to uh, Nadia and good vibe so far. Um, a lot different conversation, you know. When you talk to contractors, you can tell who's out here just trying to, you know, will and deal and uh, you know get your money or whatever. 
but uh she's doing it man it's crazy and crazy thing is what's up to my homegirl jill persons from crenshaw high school uh we, we graduated in 2003 together um uh, crazy thing i meet nadia and she actually went to tuskegee with jill so it's like that right there is like i'm not a person i'm not not a person that's like deep into like oh man things are you know but that's crazy that i would meet somebody way on the other side of this country and then they know somebody i went to high school with and they're like still they still talk to this day or whatever so i thought that was pretty cool um that she still you know talks to jill and they're still in uh, contact and they have like a whole tuskegee uh like network of people that still kind of stay in contact with each other but um yeah man that, that was a uh, that was a pretty dope thing to see. Like she's the GC on that, and she's actually an investor as well. Um, her and her family actually put together an investment group, and so they they're. She said they're in different parts of the country, but you know she's here, and so she's the sweat equity part of it, and so she rocks and gets the part gets the gets the projects going. But it's her mom, I think she said her uncle and something like that. But she's riding and doing her thing. This is her passing me up in her van right here, her work van. So it just got me hyped up, man, like coming out here and seeing a woman like just kill it like that out here and doing her shit. So, but anywho, guys, I, I have a little, little other, I mean, a few other uh, errands to run today. Um, like I'm finally gonna get a haircut. Definitely needed it. Like don't, don't, yeah, it's a little rough under there. So I'm going to get a haircut. Uh, I want to take my laundry. Um, my uh, washer and dryer, uh, hopefully it's coming tomorrow today's the second i think or the first i don't know yeah i think tomorrow's the third so uh, hopefully it comes tomorrow um lowe's has been kind of like really uh unprofessional i guess is the word i would use with their delivery service like when my doors came like i had to actually call them to see what was going on with door delivery and you know then it's always that that thing where it's like back and forth uh, oh, this department or that department. Oh, it's the delivery company. We're just the company. I'm like, man, just get my doors here. But um, yeah, hopefully my uh, washer and dryer comes tomorrow. Cause I got about a big load of dirty laundry uh, just sitting that's been waiting to get uh, uh, washed. Um, and then I can kind of like also start to focus on cleaning up my basement too. Um, Cause I'll have, uh, I have two other uh, the laundry, I mean, um, the wash and dryer that was previously down there. I'm trying to sell it right now for literally just two hundred dollars i didn't said that multiple times uh, i guess nobody out here is uh, hurting for laundry i mean a washer and dryer but um like i said essentially what i'm gonna do for the basement is turn it into like a small little workout area um you know for the tenants and then also the laundry room so they can go down and get a little workout in or they can go down there and do their laundry um like i said for me i love to add value to whatever i'm owning um i'm that type of uh, investor I'm not looking to make things basic not unless it's a basic setup like if I had a section 8 space I probably wouldn't do that but you know this being a nicer part of the town I mean you can walk to a lot of things like I love walking over to the Belvedere uh, Square which is where you have like coffee food that spot is nice you have um, right up the street you have uh, a big mall you, you have other eateries you get, like juice spots around here so you know it's that it's that type of vibe so anywho guys uh as always if you are new and even if you're not new tell somebody share it with somebody hit that like share subscribe button hit that post notification button and until next time i'm out